here we are with the uh, Yukon N470 sight line and we've got a PBIR X dimmable on it. If anything it's maybe a wee bit strong but I've got it turned down quite low. Those bins and benches that you can see there are about 150 yards. Um, I'll turn the PBIR off and I'm going to put the internal IR which is actually very good as well. That's it in its lowest setting. That's the internal. You can see there that's it in setting two. It's actually pretty good. And number three it goes away into the distance. Now this scope's really sensitive but we've found that it's actually really quite sensitive. And the internal IR is really good on it for once. So I'll put the picture in picture on in a minute and I'll let you see it with that and the zoom. So here we've got the picture in picture in, we're focusing on the bin at about 150 and it's at 12 mag in the picture in picture which is really really good if you're trying to do headshots or precision shoot. Now you want to actually just show you with the zoom. This scope has a digital zoom. You can see there, and I take it right up. It does after this, it needs a wee bit of an extra of focus. And bear in mind here, I'm still just using the internal IR. If I turn it off, I'm going to put the IRX and I can, it's a dimmable so I can, can bring it right up. You can actually see the slats in that chair there, which is not bad and we're at 20 mag. It will go right up to 24. It's actually quite a capable scope. When we had the picture in picture there, the picture in picture was at 12. And I must say this scope's got a very, very crisp image even just at six.